Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Terraforming Mars Strategy and Tactics. So uh, a while back I covered this game. This is another one of those uh, physical board games turned digital. Um, and the uh, uh, it, 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 it's a good game. It's essentially about, well, terraforming Mars. But the reason I'm returning to this is twofold. One is that on their beta branch, they have released finally the much requested drafting rules variant. The original version of the digital game didn't have that, but that's a very, very popular variant of uh, uh, rule of the game and adds another deeper layer of strategy. Uh, so I figured, you know what, let's use, let's dive into that, use the drafting variant and also get a little bit deeper into the uh, strategy and nuance of this game because I'll be frank I've been playing the ever-living crap of it, out of it ever since the drafting variant came out and there are a lot of strategies and tips to this game and you can use these tips when playing the digital version or if you happen to be a, a, a physical board gamer and you're looking to uh, beat the, your uh, friends uh, at the next game pay uh, stay tuned and pay attention right then let's fire up um, so we're going to add, uh, let's say, four hard AIs. Um, four seems to be a pretty balanced number, although the tips I'll be giving are fairly uh, fairly uh, similar across the different number of players. Um, and uh, yes, we are using the draft variant on. Also, cor corporate era rules, so we start with a longer game um, and no uh, pre pre made uh, production of stuff. Right, let's create. Now, in our original video, we went with the Beginner Corporation. Um, and this is a corporation that is always available to you, no matter what, every single game. And it's f fine for what it does. It's not intrinsically bad, but there are deeper strategies that you can pursue when going for um, some of the others. Now, if you want to play with the big boys, you, in addition to the beginner corporation, there are about a dozen or so different corporations, but you only get access to two of them. Uh, and you have to pick one of the two. Now, if you, if you choose one of these others and hit confirm, you can go back and choose the other depending on what your opening hand is like. But once you once you turn your nose up to the beginner corporation, it ceases to be an option. And there's sometimes there's sometimes where I wish I could have gotten the beginner corporation rather than with the other two, depending on my opening hand. Now, Inventrix versus Mining Guild. On the surface, without even looking at my opening hand, I lean a little bit closer to Mining Guild as the better corporation. Um, you can, depending on if you get the, the right um, cards in your hand, uh, start your economic snowball nice and early. Inventrix, Inventrix requires timing. Um, um, to use and abuse your effect of being able to play cards earlier than you should have been able to play it. Um, not to mention um, it having uh, coming with a science tag is um, uh, of, of much greater use. Uh, although the Mining Guild coming with two building tags, it's the only corporation that comes with two tags to its name. Uh, by the way, if you're unfamiliar with some of the basic concepts of the of uh, of this game, I'm I'm doing this video assuming that you are. If you're not, go and watch my uh, my original uh, Terraforming Mars video. I I explain some of the core basic concepts so that what I see in this video will make more sense if you watch that video. Right then, uh, it, link to it's in the description. Uh, so I'm going to go with one of these two. I'm going to initially start with Mining Guild, but you do have the option to, once you take a look at your opening cards, go back and go with the other corp if you decide it's a better fit. Uh, and I'm not above doing that. Even though I say Mining Guild might be a better overall pick, the cards we are dealt may point us in the other direction. Now, here's the, here's the other, uh, this is the big strategic layer. Uh, uh, between defining us between uh, picking a named corp versus the beginner corporation. The, the beginner corporation, you get dealt 10 cards at the beginning and you get them all for free. So you get 42 uh, mega credits to spend plus 10 free cards. No decision about what to take or what to keep. Here, you are presented 
with 10 free cards, but you have to buy them for three apiece. That's the standard going rate. And in, we start with a limited supply of money. If I were to buy all 10 of these cards, I would, I would spend my entire initial cash trying to get them. And yeah, that wouldn't go so well. That would not go so well. Uh, because you wouldn't have any money to buy into and pay for the various uh, cards that you're buying. And that would s slow your initial opening to a crawl. And that's that's no bueno. That's no bueno. So let's take a look at what we've got here. What um, what are we interested in? What are we looking at? And what, what, what would play to our various corporations' relative strengths? Now... Um, Inventrix's big thing is uh, not only, well, they get three cards for free. So in addition to whatever we buy here, we get three random free cards. That may or may not be helpful depending on what we draw. I try not to depend on that. It might be a lucky break. Um, but the other thing is they are, they allow you to play cards where the um, temperature or the oxygen level or the uh, number of oceans played are too higher or lower than the normal requirement. So what you really want to do is oftentimes cards that have stricter requirements are categorically better deals um, than cards that have lower requirements. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to try to um, sort of It'll play those, get those cards and play them earlier than you should because you can compound their more powerful effects um, sooner. Like if, if we were to blitz the temperature to zero degrees Celsius, we'd be able to play fish and we'd have a much longer time to accumulate counters and thus victory points on fish. But that being said, even the journey from from uh, negative 30 to zero is a long one. So it's not something we'd want to necessarily invest in in the opening hand. What you want to look for in your opening hand is things that have he high yields. They, they, they are heavy hitting right out of the gate. Um, so I'm thinking... Um, and the other thing is we want to focus more on boosting our income first and foremost. Now, for Mining Guild, we want to have things that, pr uh, that put items down on the board because that allows us to uh, claim mining tiles and therefore um, allows us to get our um, uh, steel production up naturally. Um, so that comes in the form of this comet. Uh, which is one possibility, although hmm, maybe, maybe not. Another possibility here is this corporate stronghold. This is kind of talking to me. Corporate stronghold's probably one of the stronger early cards. Yes, it does come with negative two victory points, but it's dirt cheap for a named city and gives you three um, uh, uh, mega credits per turn, which in the early game is really important, really powerful. Food factory is also a good one if we can secure a, a source, an, an early source of plant production. Um, unfortunately, we don't have any guaranteed early sources of plant production. Now, sponsors is a really good early turn one. That's just two f for six. That's that is deal of the century here. So now part of me wants to go with this, but I don't know if I can get too many turn in one plays with them. I might go in Ventrix. Uh, for the uh, uh, for the higher uh, yields uh, and uh, and the higher starting cash, um, yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to go in Ventrix because we can also get uh, that wave power right off the bat to play that uh, corporate stronghold because we don't need to wait for people to play oceans. Uh, so yeah, we start with 45 plus three free cards. We're going to go with Inventrix. So you get offered the same thing. So we're going to take the sponsors because that's just, again, deal of the century worth its weight. It pays for itself and, and just helps you snowball into a bigger economy. We're going to take the Comet. We are going first. So that gives us first shot at the two card space. Uh, plus it gives us uh, two terraforming rating, which is two more income. We're going to kind of squander the squish three plants of, of, uh, of one of your foes. Uh, unless one of them is Ecoline, um, in which case we get a free target there. Um, but even so, that's fine. That, that's not why you play Comet. 
Um, now we're going to take wave power because again, we can get this, we can play this right off the bat and then we can use that energy to power our corporate stronghold. Um, and I think, you know, usually four cards is about as much as I'm willing to buy from my opening salvo. And we've got some, we've got some good things that we can do here. So I'm going to buy that and go with Inventrix. Oh, I think we do have eco line. So my first action is to draw three cards. And now I have to take my other, um, my other action here. Now let's see what we got. Natural preserve. Pretty good. Um, Power grid, uh, good later. Import of advanced greenhouse gases, actually really good in the early game. So I'm pretty happy with that. But no, I want to play my Comet first, because I want to play that ocean tile to claim those two free cards. So we get, uh, we get one unit of that, we get to play our thing, we put our oceans up here, we get our two cards drawn. And Eco Line happens to be in the crosshairs because they start the game with three, which we get to squish. Wow, imported hydrogen, you're squandering all that benefit. That's normal. Wow, we are going right for the temperature here. Well, your faux blog, um, you can you can get some pretty powerful opening salvos, and that plus four titanium for them because their titanium is worth more than normal. Uh, they'll get a lot of mileage out of that, so I don't blame them for doing the big asteroid. Not quite really feeling it with the uh, the nitrogen there. They could have they could have done something a little bit uh, stronger. All right, invention contest, that's fine. All right, so Credit Core. Credit Core is another strong one. Uh, decent set of competitors here. And you're going to early greenery. I don't, one thing I don't really agree with with the AI is their insistence on reliance on standard projects. Standard projects are great for a stopgap if you just don't draw the cards you need, but otherwise there's a lot more you can do with them. Oh yeah, what else did we get from the Ooh, Co uh, Coppola City and Asteroid. Not bad. So we've got 12, uh, 12 to our name. Um, we want to spend that as um, effectively as possible. Now, Natural Preserve is something you want to get down, but we have some extra time. We can wait until Oxygen's at 6 to play Natural Preserve if we really wanted to. Uh, where's no, we could play, we could slap down wave power, but we don't need that right off the bat. I think sponsors would actually be the correct answer here, despite it having us leave a lot of stuff on the table. Um, the alternative, let me see what's played. So we've got two ocean tiles here. And if you put something next to an ocean tile, you get two mega credits per ocean tile. So if we put something here or here, we would get four mega credits. Um, so if we spent nine, that would leave us with three, um, plus the four would give us seven, which would allow us to get the uh, plus one from natural reserve, plus the two from sponsors on the same turn. Quite worth it. Uh, it may be a little bit of a squander of the plate of the placement here. And, um, oh wait, no, next to no other tile. Never mind. There goes that idea. And you can't spend uh, mineral or uh, steel or uh, titanium to uh, hurry sponsors. That, that has to be done with cash. Um, so yeah, you know what? I think, I think we'll, we'll, we'll go with the sponsors though. Cause it's just, it, it, it helps. It helps so much in the long run, especially when you play this early. Um, and yeah, there's nothing else. Uh, but like I said, I'm happy with all the freebies that we got here. Um, no standard projects that we want to pursue. So we'll skip our turn and we'll end. Normally, I don't like to end with too much cash, but who knows? I mean, we've got a lot of cards to play. We're going to kind of be kind of kind of stingy about um, taking new cards into our hand just because we've got so much inventory to, to plow through here. All right. So there goes the early heat awards. I 
unless you're a uh, Hellion, I don't really feel the need to chase those too aggressively. You know, if you've got the, if you got a card that can let you grab them naturally, great, go ahead and play it. But I would not sacrifice a more optimal play to grab the heat bonuses um, if something else would work out a little bit more efficiently. All right, so we got 30 to our name. And we could, if depending on what is uh, made available to us with this drafting, um, decide to not buy anything. But here's here's the other element of strategy. So here's where drafting comes in. So up until this point, the game has been played stock standard. Um, everything is as it was. But now, now is when we draft. So here's how it works. All four players are given four cards to pick from. But instead of just in the normal game, we would just say, okay, I want to buy that one. I want to buy that one. I want to buy that one. I don't want to buy that one. You you just pick and choose and, and go your merry way that way. That's not it. That's not exactly the same here. Here, you pick one of the cards and then pass the other three to the, your other players. Then you get a different set of, of uh, three cards. Pick one, pick one, pick one. And then of those four cards that you have drafted, then you may choose to buy or not buy uh, one or more of them. So part of the strategy here is if you pick a card, even if you're not necessarily going to buy it yourself, by picking it, you deny it to your opponent. If I take, you know, say, you know... Um, you know, water from Europa, I, I prevent one of my rivals from getting that. Um, now, as far as these other cards, you know, for these four cards, I don't have any resources. So CEO's favorite project, which you can, there are certain cards that combo with this that make it disgusting. Uh, Soil Factory, nah. Now, Development Center is one of my favorite card generation things. And if we weren't in Ventrix and loaded to the gills with cards, I would probably just lunge for Development Center. Um, import water from Euro Europa. While we don't have Saturn Systems in this game, Saturn Systems loves this card. Um, we do have Credicor, and Credicor is the other one that likes these big, expensive, uh, Jovian-tagged cards. So if we took this, it would deny them the, the opportunity to uh, buy that, uh, and also uh, milk it for extra ocean tiles. Um, but, well, part of me wants to, wants to grab the Development Center, if only for the extra science tag. Because being that we start with a free science tag, we can go down the science tag route a little bit more often. So I'm, I'm going to go with the Development Center. I may or may not buy it. I want to see what the other cards are like. Restricted area. Um, all right, so we get these. Now, grass, grass we can actually get into right away. We, we don't quite meet the requirements, but we're in Ventrix. We can, we can fudge it a little bit. So we could get into plant production earlier than usual. Now, grass is actually not that great early game. It's better for a late game uh, because you want more per turn production in the early game. Late game is when you want the, the immediate plant. So not really feeling grass. Restricted area, we're already lousy with cards. But we also don't want the AI to kind of be messing with things and getting this. I don't like the AI getting this. They 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 go crazy with it. Peroxide power, we don't have any outstanding... Well, we kind of do, actually. We could use that to buy Coppola, uh, C Coppola City. Um, and normally I don't like things that subtract from our uh, power here, but if it's going to be buying another higher thing, so let's uh, let's go proxy and also beef up uh, power grid. All right. Um, now here we go. Um, uh, Heather, um, this stuff is actually good because it's dirt cheap. It is dirt cheap, and we can fudge the requirements. So. Research Outpost is nice, don't get me wrong, but we've already got enough cities in our hand. We want something cheap here if we're going to be buying something at all. And then the final card you don't get to pick. Um, it just shows up. In, you get the the uh, target, target grades. Target degrades. I can never pronounce them correctly. Target grades. All right, so Development Center's right out. That's just getting greedy. Peroxide power, I think, is in because it combos with our power grid and helps us power um, Coppola City and whatever else we might have coming down the bend. 
I might even do it rather than wave power and then just use the it's two to buy the two uh, cities uh, as money permits. Oh, I really want to get um, either here. Um, it's just a, such a cheap card, um, but there's so many other things that are demanding our attention. Um, early target trades is good too. Damn. This is tough. This is tough. We've got a lot of really good early cards um, that can that can help support a number of different um, things here. Hmm. All right, so let's let's run some numbers. What combination of stuff can we get into? Uh, bearing in mind that each card we buy costs us three each. So. Um, if we were to buy Peroxide Power and then play it, that's 10. So that takes 10 off of it. That leaves us with 20 to play around with. Um, we could buy Coppola City, um, but we couldn't also buy um, Corporate Stronghold. We're not even close. We could do Corporate Stronghold plus Natural Preserve, um, which actually is not that bad. Uh, because that gives us a plus four in income, and then that more income gives us the ability to buy more stuff next turn. Yeah, you know what? I like that. I like that a lot. Um, now, the other uh, option here is um, use wave power instead of the peroxide power, um, and then hope we get something better along the way, uh, power-wise. Which actually might not be a bad idea, since we've already got the wave power. So, yeah. I'm going to leave the peroxide power on the table, uh, but since we can splurge a little bit, we can, we can, uh, we can make the numbers work for us a little bit. Um, I can, I can splurge and pick one thing up, even if we don't necessarily play it this turn, um, it'll still be good. So we'll, we'll pick up the Heather uh, or the Heather. Um, yeah. If we were, if we didn't have any city cards to our name, I might have gone with this one. But this one, we want greenery uh, coming into our midst later game. Now, because we went first and last one, we got shuffled down in turn order. There, right, so they picked up the research outpost. That's fine. And now they're buying the aquifers. That's fine. It's the other thing with the AI, they always go, they, like half the oceans that are available to place in the game disappear within the first couple of turns. So that also means that cards that have oceans as requirements are easier to play when you're playing against the AI. Okay, so uh, wave power as, as planned. And we can actually play that naturally because there's already enough uh, requirements in place. Um... And then, yeah, um, oh, we're actually going to be short one, unless we place this corporate stronghold next to water. That might be the correct answer. Yeah, if we put this, if we put the corporate stronghold, like, say, right, actually, we want, if we want cash, if we want cold, hard cash, we could, um, Hmm. Now, putting it here would allow us to reap a bonus from this one placed greenery, but I kind of want the cash right about now. The 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 earlier bit of cash is kind of worth it. Um, we could put it here. We'd only get two, but we'd also get two plants for the for our troubles, uh, and have pretty good placement options along here. So yeah, you know what? I'm gonna place it here. All right, so they're passing their turns. They've, uh, there goes another asteroid. All right, so now we could, uh, we could do the natural preserve or we could do an import of greenhouse gases. Since the heat's rising sooner rather than later, I'm thinking let's go the natural preserve um, just for the extra cash. And also we can pick up whatever materials we slap it on. Now what? Now the question becomes, what do we slap it on? 
we could um, we could put it over here to start grabbing more plants. We could um, put it up here to get double steel. Um, we could go for single titanium, but that's not as good. Or we could go here to grab an extra card. I think double steel is the correct answer here. Um, we could... Yeah, I think that's the, I think double steel is the correct answer. Um, I mean, well, actually, we'll go right here, because that way we can, if there's other cards that you have to play adjacent to yours, we can grab other materials. So that's good for two, not steel per turn, but just two steel, period. Um, and that brings us down to one, no other thing, so that's about it for our turn. But I think we're doing good as far as getting our income up nice and high. We're already at a plus six, plus a 22 rating, so that's 28 per turn, up uh, from the original of 20 that we started the game with. And that compounds itself. Now, I kind of do know uh, why the AI likes to spam those early projects, because they want to get their terraforming rating up, because that does mean money. But I prefer to try and get my money through um, just raw cash advances. Yes, I know terraforming rating gives you victory points at the end of the game, but it's easier to come by vast quantities of... Uh, of, um, of, of this in here. Aha, artificial photosynthesis. Beautiful. Martian Rails is also good, but not good enough. Energy saving can be good late game. Artificial photosynthesis is worth it for the power production. Because two for 12 and a science tag, that's a good deal. Um, and we're not going the terraforming Ganymede route. That's a, that's a powerful game winner right there. Ooh, toll station. Now, whenever you have one of these cards that its effectiveness depends on what the other players are doing, check the other players before you decide how valuable that is. So let's here look at full blog. Um, we look at their tags. They have one space tag, credit core, no space tags, Echoline, no space tags. Toll station ain't worth it at that. And I'm not gonna just hold on to it. Um, and actually let's now how effective would it be for us? We've got no space tag So it wouldn't really be very effective for other people cloud seeding. Do they have just yes full blog has uh, that um, and I don't um, I mean it we could play uh, design microorganisms, but they can't it's already too late for them so we're going to leave them to have somebody to absorb the trash. We're going to take cloud seeding. Uh, yes, that's minus one, but that's two plant production in the early game. Very useful. Herb of, oh, herbivores or acquired company. Herbivores on Inventrix is really good because playing them early before you get out to the your greenery spam, very powerful. Uh, on the other hand, acquired company is just a straight up you know, 10 for three. Uh, and it's still early enough in the game that just getting going for those raw things is worth it. And we're, if we were closer with oxygen, I'd go for the herbivores, but I'm going to go acquired company. And again, I still need to decide which of these I want to actually buy. Uh, Media archives, not worth it. Um, all right. So we still have, uh, we have, we have a city that's going to demand this. We have power grid here. Um, we have a power card, but it's expensive and at the moment not very effective. Um, so I do, and I do like those science tags. So artificial photosynthesis, good, good pickup there. Cloud seeding, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm just, I'm just not gonna buy cloud seeding. Um, it's, it's nice to have, but not as nice as uh, acquired company. Uh, and then these other two I'll just leave uh, to languish here. So you're the one that picked up. Wow, you snagged that out from... Because uh, I know Credit Card would love to have that. Alright, so they're rolling on Search for Life. I personally don't like Search for Life. 
not because it's not uh, not because it's a bad card, but every time I go digging through the deck, I find the one card that I was like, oh, I want to just draw this and put it in my hand. But no, it's just checking to see if you drew a micro a microbe card, and it's like the ultimate te tease. All right, so um, artificial photosynthesis. Um, that's 28, so we can't actually make the combo work. Sadness. Or can we? we can, we've got two st steel to our name, so that can drop it down to um, from 16 to 14 to uh, 12. 12 and 12 is 24. We actually just need to sell a card. That's it. We only need to sell a card. That's, that's actually not... That's, that's doable. That is very much doable. Um, what do we sell? I think we sell power grid because we're getting our power from elsewhere. Um, now, is there any time or place? Well, I mean, the city is placement sensitive, technically. I mean, the other alternative here is to just skip the city for the moment and just go acquire company because that gives us the same net benefit of... Uh, of giving us the plus three, um, and we still have 13 to uh, play around with. Um, you know, we could slap down, we could slap down the artificial photosynthesis and just get uh, a tick of, uh, of power there, um, and then have that ready to go for Cap uh, Capola City next turn. That might be, a, that might be the correct answer here. Because those two ticks of energy will eventually turn to heat if unused eventually. So it'd be kind of like a round of import from GHG. Yeah, I think that's the correct answer here. Because the, 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 the power building might be of use to us later on. So that brings us up to nine. Now we may want to consider picking up Banker at this point for the award because we are leagues above everybody else in terms of just raw income and securing that's not a bad idea. Now securing that on Gen 3, that might be a little early. And since we've got, we've got things to speak for it, um, um, maybe not so much. If, uh, if we had one more, I might do like um, Heather plus the award, but... Now, nah, artificial photosynthesis is probably the, the better option here. And we will do it for the power. Power. Yeah, a little late there for Arctic Algae, isn't that? That's great if you play it like turn one before any oceans. Because then that will pay off in spades. But eh, when, when more than half the oceans have been played, maybe not so much. Yeah, so we're down to the one. We got nothing else we can do. We're holding on to our two steel for later on. So we pass. Still not too, uh, not too shabby. Yeah, we're going to be, we're, we're, not, we're going to lose out on, say, the gardener um, uh, thing. I mean, whenever you're playing with Eagle Eye, you're going to miss out on gardener, but that's kind of a given. All right, let's see what we got here. Lake Maria uh, Marinus here. Uh, two, even with our bonus um, too far down, Lava Flows is a consideration because that will give us two uh, perks of, of uh, heat, plus it'll allow us to uh, claim uh, um, uh, some very valuable minerals because um, the one plant, one titanium space is still undeveloped. Uh, AI Central also really good, and we've got uh, we've got the science tags for it, and we're going to have the extra power for it. So you know what, AI Central, that's the other really really good one because you get two free two cards per turn for free, just straight up, and it's worth a victory point. That just lets you spam your card and give you all kinds of options for cheap. So yeah, AI Central. Hmm, nuclear power, I hate nuclear power. It is not worth minus two just to get the plus three. D 
Deep well heating, on the other hand, is absolutely worth it. Um, because that gives you a that gives you a temp plus some power to boot. Let some other poor schmuck pick that up. Um, not too late for colonizer uh, colonizer training camp, but I'm not really in it for the. It, you want to pick this card up more for the Jovian tag than you do the two points. Um, cause this early in the game, when it's this low here, you, you got other things to do than just, just straight up farm points. Physics, physics complex is an interesting choice. A very interesting choice. In fact, you actually, hmm, no, I'm not going to be, I don't, well, actually I'm going to have plenty of science tags. I might get one of those high science, uh, high science requirement power producers later on that would allow me to actually generate enough electricity to make this thing go. So yeah, physics complex. I might not actually take that though. Um, I am going to take deep well heating way too good of a deal. And I am going to take AI central way too perfect for us. All right, well, there goes that. I'm glad I didn't go with the lava flows. All right, um, well, first things first, we want to play uh, Capola City here. Um, I'm going to want to put it um, one tile away from your um, from your others, but you want to do it, you don't want to do it right opposite. You want to do it uh, shift it a little bit so you can get like a tri city here. And this right here would be great because you could have up to three cities bonusing off of one tile here. And put it, if I put it here, I'll get uh, four, uh, four cash back uh, because it's next to two ocean tiles. So I think that is the correct answer here. And we'll, um, no reason to hold on to the steel unless you're going for the reward and we're too early in the game to even think about that. So, bada boom, bada bing, bada boom. All right, and our money keeps moneying. And we've got 18 to our name. So let's plan out our 18. Power grid, no reason for that, because we want to get deep well heating played first. Um, if we, I'd like to play this plus uh, the uh, uh, heather. May, I could sell the, the import of uh, advanced uh, greenhouse gases. Uh, card that might be a that might be a correct answer here so I can get some plant generation going because we do want to get some plants eventually on the ground yeah let's go with deep well he heating because we're gonna get some heat just from our excess uh, power production anyway We also, oh, well, thank you, Red. Yeah, actually, I guess you don't have much of a choice but to play that on, play, on places for me here. All right, they get the free card. That's fine. Temperature going up. Now we can start thinking about higher temperature requirement cards because we're closer to that. Um, so yeah, we sell a card with a uh, sell patent. You, get, you only get one back for them, but if you get something you don't need uh, or you change your mind on something, then it's a, it's a perfectly acceptable um, uh, option to go with. Um, I mean, the other option would be to sell the power grid because uh, that's, yeah, you know what? I'm going to sell the power grid because these can combo into each other, asteroid into advanced GHG. So yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell the power grid because it's kind of expensive. And now we get Heather. Now that's gonna take four turns by itself to pay off, but it gets us closer and just having something on the board uh, as far as plant generation goes is not a bad thing. All right, we are completely broke uh, out of action, so let us pass.
So let's see, our two excess power turned into two heat. So we're slowly building up our heat bank, even though we uh, uh, aren't really focusing on that. And we shouldn't focus on that because the temperature gauge is halfway up. So focusing too much on heat right now would be a kind of a bad move. Now, doing the import of GHG, not the worst thing in the world. Um, let's see here. Zeppelins farming. Farming might be a one to consider because you can get that at two degrees. I know that seems far off, but it's actually not that far off. Not for us. Um, and if you milk farming for a bunch of different turns, it will pay off. Um... Yeah, I think farming is the correct answer for us because we're in Ventrix. Space elevator, if we had a... Um, wait, imported GHG, advanced GHG. Oh, this just gives you more front-loaded heat. Eh. Eh. Not feeling it. We've already got some things spoken for for those. Um, I think I'm going to take the space elevator just to deny somebody else that because it's a powerful darn, it's a darn powerful card. We're just not going to buy it ourselves. This is what my uh, buddy Stormfront calls hate drafting, where you take a car, draft a card specifically to deny it to somebody else with no intention of buying it yourself. Aquifer pumping. Mm, no. Advanced alloys. Really, really good if we had production. That being said, I'm going to keep it out of other people's hands. Because it's way too powerful in the wrong hands. Like that can that can break a game if if the wrong person gets that in place. Uh, now media group's an interesting choice because we've got two events coming up here that will pay off three each, uh, which will essentially pay for the card itself, and the rest is gravy. It also we're building up a, an appreciable number of earth tags here which could pay off for later on. So I actually think I'm going to grab Media Group. Normally I don't like to focus on, on event-related things, and I personally think the corporation that gets bonuses from events is one of the weakest in the game. But that being said, in this circumstance, it makes sense for us. So Media Group, and we're going to grab Farming for that, that, that future turn investment here. The other two hate drafts that are just going to languish. Now then... Let's take a look here. Now we could go, we could dive right into AI Central. Um, that could get that cooking for us, which would not be a bad idea, but we would, um, we kind of want to focus on getting the heat turned up a little bit more. So an asteroid into advanced GHG, not a bad, uh, not a bad idea, especially since the actually media group into these, because the whole point of buying the media group is that we can play these. Um, so let's, let's think about this. So that's 20 plus nine. We've got 29. Wow. That works out wonderfully. We'll, uh, we'll get that one. We'll get the, um, the AI central later. We've got plenty of cards to, to, so media group into asteroid and we can smush somebody's plants while we're at it. So we get the bonus three cash for that. We get two titanium. An eco line. Anytime you can deny somebody a a, a, a play here, um, and who's yeah? They're all they're all kind of in the lead here as far as that. So eco line, you're getting squished. Sorry, eco line. That's the second time I've squished your stuff. Great dam, a very good uh, power card. And there goes the aquifers. Try not to get ocean cards um, later in the game, because again, the AI likes to snap those up quickly. And uh, having a card that places ocean tiles when there's no ocean tiles left to place is going to do nothing for you. Ah, see, this is the farming, um, but related to with a higher water requirement instead of uh, temperature requirement. Um, so they got lucky that they got kelp farming. And they got it early. Um, so they're going to be profiting off of that, to say the least. Um, all right, so G Advanced GHG will drop the cost to three. So we're actually going to have quite a bit of cash left over. I think it might be prize time um, um, hunting for, because we can't afford our... Um, we can't afford the other... Um, the AI Central, so... 
Um, and again, we're we're heads and tails higher than anybody with Banker, so we want to get that because the next, the second, um, the second prize costs fourteen, and the third one costs twenty. So you want to buy them before anyone else buys a prize. And I don't think we have. No, we don't qualify for any of the milestones yet. We're one city away from Mayor. I don't think we're gonna, we're not going to be getting Gardener. Uh, we might get Builder. Um, um, and I doubt we'll get Terraform. But Mayor, I see us being able to snag. But for now, Banker is going to be the name of the game. Yeah, especially when somebody has an import tile or an aquifer pumping tile that they can just make more o uh, ocean tiles at will. All right, nothing else we can really do, so we will just sit on our laurels and pass. Now, we do want to look at uh, grabbing our third city so that we can secure that mayor milestone. I don't think, I mean, we're not in danger of losing it imminently, but um, either to other, the other three milestones being taken up or um, somebody else grabbing mayor. But you still want to keep an eye on it. So if we see another special city come down the pipeline, we'll want to snag it. Predators. Titanium mines, okay, but nah, nah. Trans-Neptune probe is a cheap science tag at its core and worth the, you know, five, six for one. That's actually not too bad. But predators, that's another thing that we could go for, although there's no other animals being played at the moment. We could also go for the colony ship, but that's too late game. That's a great late game play. Um, you know what? I think we're going to go predators. Just, just as a, you know, we'll see what other, let's we'll see what else comes down the pipeline. And I don't want, I, I don't want somebody else getting predators. So it's part me draft, part hate draft, uh, mass converter. That's what I'm talking about. There's our power. Oh, and viral enhancers. Oh, this one's, this is a tough choice right here. How many science tags do we have? We've got three, so we can't actually swing the mass converter. So that's out the the uh, picture. Uh, we do have two power to our name, to excess power. A strip mine would be really, really nice because that's that actually would lunge us up here and get us three for one plus a bunch of production. Uh, yeah, strip mine. Strip mine. Viral enhancers are really good, but we're not really playing that angle. If you get that early, then you can start playing a, um, a plants, uh, biomes, animals uh, uh, gambit here. But in this case, strip mine, I think, is the better answer. Um, ironworks, no, ironworks is terrible. Hold out for steelworks. Business network. Now, this is another earth tag and a cheap one at that. I'm, I might be tempted. Uh, we don't really have any animals to bonus. I, I'm still not liking that. I'm I'm going to let the predators lapse because we're still a little bit too far away from them, even with our bonuses. Although, hmm, does anybody else have uh, an animals? You've got no card resources. Yeah, you've got the search for life. You've got nit nitrate reducing bacteria and you've got nothing. So I... If somebody else had like animals out there to feed, I'd go for, well, you know what? I might just draft them anyway, because some, somebody could easily play them. Um, and we've got the cash to drop the strip mine. Um, and we're not quite close enough on temperature for farming. So yeah. Do I want business network? Because the one, the minus one uh, income per turn is not really that bad. Although it is strictly worse than Inventor's Guild, which, um, because you still have to buy the card if you want it. So yeah, you know what? Uh, I don't really like it. 
if we had something in our hand that would give us bonuses to uh, earth tags, I'd go for it because then we could combo that bonus in. But yeah, we'll just buy these two. Now, somebody play some animals. Although I don't think anyone will because I didn't see animals. Well, they could have drafted it before it got to me. It looks like there's some contenders for uh, Gardener here. I do hope we get a chance to play our... Nope, never mind. They're going to grab that. They're going to grab the, the, the free increase. And he's going to grab Gardener, but we weren't in the contention for Gardener. Somebody play some animals. I got some bears to feed. And I don't want to play them early because that might scare them off from playing the bear, from playing, you know, other animals, knowing that they're just going to get chewed on. So, yeah. Strip mine. We'll get that shooting right up there and get our production going nice and high. Um, yeah, that's about it. That's all we really needed to do. I mean, we got the we got the cash for. Um, well, no, we don't have the cash. We have the cash for a milestone, but we we don't qualify for any of them yet. So let's just skip. It. This also has the potential to draw the game to an early conclusion here, which might not necessarily be a bad thing. I do want to make sure I get at least one greenery tile and, and hopefully a third city place down here so I can get some kind of semblance of points from those. Ah, you're, you're the one. Oh, you have herbivores. I can feed the bears. I can feed the bears. Ooh, so I've got nine. I don't know. I can't afford the bears, even if I even if I liquidated these two. So we'll let you flourish for one turn, but then we'll start chewing on you. So we can officially feed the bears. Wonderful. And I know you've done that. I would have gone to AI Central so I could afford the bears on the same turn. Should have played those sooner. Yeah, with this much plant production flowing around here, the uh, oxygen pool is going to dry up real quick. So here, I'm just I'm just banking on getting my one greenery down before that uh, dries up entirely. A capital A. Ooh, shiny. We need we need more power production to make that work for us. But shiny. And we don't want them getting it either. <gasps> Pets. Pets is disgustingly good if you get them early because they don't, they're the only animal that doesn't have a, uh, a placement requirement that usually is pretty high in terms of oxygen. That being said, since we've already got bears to our name, I'm going to just hate draft them, but not necessarily play them. And these other two are bunk. Geothermal power. Ooh, we do need we do need the power. We need the power. So geothermal power get. And biomass combustors. We can get all the power we need. And burn up some somebody else's plant production while we're at it. All right, so let's let's plan this out. We want predators down this turn without fail. Uh, AI Central can wait because we've got other good cards to our name. We want that capital down because that'll be our third city. Um, we need power for that. Um, and I'm totally for biomass combustors. Do we want more power beyond that um, to uh, fuel AI Central? 
Um, probably. So geothermal power is not a bad buy either. But can we afford all of that? So the bears is our 14. Combine that um, with the capital um, is 40. But we also need to purchase the uh, the comb the combustors. So yeah, maybe maybe not get so greedy because we 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 want all of those. We want all of the above. Now the capital, I think I'm going to change my plans a little bit, put the capital up here um, to get these two water tiles and also pick up the one stray thing and then we can get, we can get some uh, greenery tiles here, hopefully, unless you screw me over with land claim. Nope, nope, you're good. That was actually a pretty smart placement for it. Secure yourself a city site there. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna biomass into capital. The capital placement is gonna give us more cash to afford the predators afterwards. Um, and we've oh yeah, we can decrease the cost. We can make it free. I forgot about that. And Credit Core has way too much plant, uh, so we're gonna nerf that a little bit. Um, and then we're going to get that capital on the ground. Yeah, these two, this is, this makes the perfect sense because you get a bonus, the capital gets a bonus point for every water tile. The ideal is to have three, but we don't have that option now. So two is what we're going to get. And look at that, uh, that income per turn increase. Uh, we do want to pick up Mayor, though, um, because now now the game's starting to accelerate. Other people could start picking up. Um, ooh, or we could, we might be able to gun, depending on how the timing goes. Oh, livestock? Yeah, we got, we got things for our Predator to chew on. And actually, we could hold off on the Mayor accolade until next turn. Ooh, are you going to just give me that last free ocean? I think, yeah, you're going to give me the last free ocean. There's no reason for me not to spend my heat conversion here. And actually, placing that on that tile will give me my plant to do a free uh, greenery conversion here. So that actually kind of works out for me. Thank you, AI. Um, so we could, I mean, we can place farming down at this point. <laughs> Do we want to place farming down at this point? Um, wouldn't be a bad idea. But we also want to make sure we get predators down, because the sooner that's ticking away, the better. Um, yeah. Yeah. That, that makes a lot more sense. I mean, I'd love to get farming down, but predators will net us more points in the long run because farming, we get, out, we get the points up front. So uh, let's, let's, let's do our placement first. Now I'm going to um, I'm going to leave this spot open because if Red wants to actually no Red can escape from from there they can place their further greenery tiles from here they placed this one next to mine because he had no choice at the time but now they got lava flows so they could break out from there um, but you know, in case they're feeling generous I'll I'll start with this one because both of these are the same thing they both net us two uh, two cash as well as um, one uh, free plant. All right, so all of the oxygen increases are are taken care of. So now at this point, greenery is just ex it just exists for us to um, um, uh, get points and combo off of cities. Which again, we've got plenty of cities to combo off of.
And everyone else is starting to build their cities. Wow, asteroids this late in the game? Please don't end at this turn. All right, let's get our predators down. And we actually have enough for the mayor tag after all those uh, C bonuses. So let's grab mayor while we're at it. And then we'll have the bears eat something. And I mean, we might only get two turns of bearing here, but that's still not bad because it's one full victory point per bear. And we're also eating some of their stuff. Um, now, uh, livestock is the, um, cause they get a full victory point for livestock, whereas herbivores is, um, one victory point for every two. So we do the most damage by eating the livestock. So, mmm, cow. And we got nothing else to play, so we skip. So yeah, actually it doesn't, it looks like we're probably not going to be playing AI Central because at this point it's, it's benefit would be squandered. But, you know, sometimes that's the gamble you take. You don't S, you don't always necessarily use the cards that you, you pick up here. But that's okay. It's the way it works. Urbanized area. Ooh. We've got a really sweet spot for urbanized area, actually. That would actually work out quite well for us. Um, nuclear zone, <laughs> no. Both of those, of these, these two cards right here, bribed committee and nuclear zone, if you get them in your opening hand, take them and use them. They're really strong turn one plays. And actually, they're really strong, like, turn anything sooner than three or four. This late in the game, though? Uh-uh. No, no, no. Um, yeah, we'll take this just to protect our, our income here. Large cut. Well, no, that's not worth it. But we do, have, we do have at least two power tags, yes? Yes, we do. So fusion power is absolutely an option. And we do, need, we do have need of juice. So we're going to go fusion power. We're going to go urbanized area. Um, it's not worth it for this, the asteroid mining one. If you get that early and you can steal an early titanium production, great. Otherwise, meh. Eh. Yeah, yeah. Ah, so he's going thermalist here. So we're going to want to hold on to this because we might it, we might either take the lead or take second place in thermalist. Um, yeah, right here, urbanized area is perfect for here because we get the bonuses from all this. So, a fusion power. Yeah, it looks like he stole my, uh, stole one of my, uh, my steals here. That's all right. And then urbanized area. And then we can put a uh, put our greenery over here to bonus off of both of these guys. Now we would uh, we may want to look into trying to snag the scientist award. Ooh, commercial district. I wish I had that one in my pocket. He could have gotten a lot more points and denied me some by placing it right here. I've never seen the AI place commercial districts optimally. Like, they're usually pretty good about other things, but the commercial districts kind of throws them for a loop. Oof, they're looking to end this. I don't want... I really don't want this to end on this turn. Um... 
see if we go farming here that's gonna give us that's gonna give us enough for one more um and the two victory points here the other option being to buy it would be to fund one of the prizes i'm gonna take the farming because i want one at least one more greenery tile Yeah, because that'll turn into eight. So even if the game ends on this turn, we can still place our one more greenery tile. Um, and then we go first next round, so we'll have the we'll be able to snag the last award unless somebody uh, snags it this turn. Because obviously we don't have the cash for it at the moment. Um, and then we can go feed the bears. Livestock eight, livestock die. Munch. Eh, I don't agree with that move. Not this late in the game. It's a, like I said before, it's really stupidly good early on. And of course they play the nuclear zone. So they're going to end it this round. Yeah, looks like nobody's going to be buying that last award. Because that's it. And now this is the earliest gen I've seen the game come to a conclusion. Gen 8. It usually goes to 10 to 11, but they close this one out pretty darn quick. Um, yeah, we got nothing else we can really do at the last minute. I mean, technically speaking, because ties are broken by, uh, by um, uh, outstanding cash, you could sell your remaining cards on the turn that you know that you're going to... Uh, uh, you know, pass it, but eh. we have enough latent income that, you know, I think we'd have a tie-breaking lead should we find ourselves in a tie with anybody. And I'm glad I played that farming. I'm really glad I played that farming because we'll be able to place our last uh, our last tile because we've got the eight. Thank you. All right, I think uh, I think we did pretty well for ourselves here. We didn't actually get to use much of Inventrix's uh, um, bonuses. We used the the early card draw for free a little bit more than anything else, but we really didn't get to use much of their uh, their free uh, their free goodies here. I just realized only two of the milestones were bought, too. But yeah, we get some good points with cities here. And we get some good victory points here. Yeah, uh, a low-scoring game, but it only went to eight generations. Usually you get three whole new turns from there. But hey, we won. And a victory is a victory, even if it's a, even if it's a rather quick one. So that, my friends, is... Um, Ah, see, this is where your your cash on hand will break a tie. That's why red got third place over uh, purple here, despite uh, both having uh, 48. Um, so I hope this uh, you guys found some of these tips helpful. Um, I, uh, I've, like I said, I have been and will continue to play the ever-living heck out of this game. I love it. Uh, so if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback's always welcome. And yes, more Armello's on the way, more Civ's on the way, more everything's on the way. Um, so keep yourselves posted. Um, follow my Twitter if you want to see updates um, and hints and tips as to what might be coming down the pipe. Pinstar out.